We are a feminist tech brand. We are using tech to improve gender equality, to give women more control over their bodies. So I never had a plan to work in tech or become an entrepreneur. I was working in women's health and I became pregnant. And like many women, suddenly realized there's so many things that happen to our bodies that nobody talks about until they happen. And in fact, there's a huge number of health problems for women which can be easily prevented through technology. Uh, so what that means is actually I was pregnant, I was in a Pilates class, and my instructor said to me, Tanya, the most important thing you can do to look after your body is your pelvic floor exercises. And uh, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> and I went home, started going through some of the, the scientific literature and realized it's a huge hidden epidemic for women. And actually one which has been completely ignored by technology. So basically I saw a problem which I knew could potentially be solved through technology and threw myself into to that and starting LV. So that was 2013 uh, when the company got going and your first product was the trainer. You can take a look at the first product that you that you created. Was that is that intentional that you didn't want something that necessarily looks like a you know a medical or clinical device, but actually something that looks like a gadget first? It just happens to also be an incredibly valuable thing for the people who use it. Everything about the design is highly intentional. I would say two different spaces. You look at medical devices and they're designed in a very utilitarian way uh, and that's partly because of the way the business model works. You design a medical device, a doctor prescribes it to a patient and you get it on prescription in the NHS. There's no real incentives to innovate or think about the consumer at the centre of that design process. And then second, products for women, tech products for women. I think generally we oversimplify things so we think it's an either or, like either it needs to be great tech or it needs to be beautifully designed and tech companies in general have tended to focus on the aesthetic level, like let's make it beautiful, let's make it pink, but actually women want both, So, and especially because it's a very intimate product, so everything about it is beautifully and elegantly designed, but it's a piece of very high tech as well. And you know, early days, like I literally had some engineers, so this was um, five, six years ago, and at that point, you know, basically there's wireless charging in the case, and that's for specific hygiene reasons, you close it and it charges in there, uh, and then when you take it out, it wakes itself up. And I literally had people say to me, you know, do you think women are gonna get this? This is pretty advanced tech. I'd be like, do you think women are not gonna understand that you take it out and it wakes itself up? Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of assumptions, particularly around the female consumer of tech, and, and an assumption that women don't really appreciate uh, cutting edge tech, and I think what we've shown with LV is if you give women tech that solves a problem for them, of course they're gonna convert and adopt that. Uh, in fact, be very much early adopters.